hello friends in this video i am going to discuss about a very important operation on sequence or signal that is time shifting okay you have already studied in theory what is time shifting basically two types of shifting one is left side uh, sorry left shift and another one is right shift uh, one is called time delayed another one is called time advanced okay so among these two types we are going to see one type in our this video that is right shifting or time delay in matlab okay so first try to understand the theory and from the theory as usual as i have uh, shown you in my previous videos from theory we try to extract the algorithm right same thing we are going to do here because if you just go from understanding theory if you just derive the algorithm and write the code now it will be in your mind for longer time and you need not uh, to memorize or mark it up right i have seen many of my friends have uh, marked uh, the codes before dsp exam but uh, uh, avoid that just understanding is sufficient you can write any dsp related code so first try to understand what is happening with this right shift or time delaying why this is time delay why the right shift is also called time delay that's what you should understand okay so let's start So x of n, I have taken one sequence minus two zero one minus three two minus one three. Okay, and the uh, sequence at n equal to zero is taking the amplitude that is minus three. Okay, that means the sequence uh, this minus two corresponds to minus n equal to minus three. Zero corres corresponds to n equal to minus two. One corresponds to n equal to minus one. Minus three corresponds to n equal to zero. Two corresponds to n equal to one. Minus one corresponds to n equal to two, and three corresponds to n equal to three. That means this sequence x of n is basically from minus three to three. Okay, that is this. Now suppose you want to draw the sequence y of n, another sequence which is basically time shifted sequence of x of n, and the relation is this one. Y of n is equal to x of n minus three. Now how to plot this? So first step is. Just draw the fundamental signal. Your for you the fundamental signal is this one, right? X of n, which is from minus three to three, right? Just plot it here. See here, I have plotted uh, the x of n. See how I have plotted at n equal to minus three, the amplitude is minus two. Because see at n equal to minus three, amplitude is minus two. At n equal to minus two, amplitude is zero, right? So at n equal to minus two, amplitude is zero. Then at n equal to minus one, amplitude is one. n equal to minus one, amplitude is one. n equal to zero, amplitude is minus three. n equal to zero, amplitude is minus three. Right? n equal to one, amplitude is two. n equal to one, amplitude is two. Right? n equal to two, amplitude is minus one. That's what n equal to two, amplitude is minus one. Okay? And at n equal to three, amplitude is three. See here, at n equal to three, amplitude is three. So this is basically my uh, given signal x of n. I have to plot y of n, which is basically x of n minus three. How to plot? Just follow the basic, basic from the basic you start, right? No mark up, nothing formula. Just go from the basic. Y of n is equal to x of n minus three. So you have to plot for y of n, right? So first y of zero. So y of zero is x of minus three. That is minus two. Why? Because x of minus three here. If you put in this formula, y of zero will be x of zero minus three. That is equal to x of minus three. That will be equal to minus two. Right. So this is my sequence y of n, which is at n equal to zero, which is taking value minus two. Now y of one. Y of one is x of put in the formula n equal to one. Then y of one will be x of one minus three. That is x of minus two. X of minus two is what? X of this is my sequence x of uh, n and x of minus two is zero, right? So in this case, y of one will be zero. Y of two is put again in the formula n equal to two. X of two minus three that is x of minus one. And see, x of minus one is one. So in this case, y of two will be one, right? Y of three, y of three will be put in this formula n equal to three. You, you will get y of three equal to x of three minus three that is x of zero. X of zero was See minus three. This is my x of n sequence at at n equal to zero. The value is minus three. So y of three is minus three. Fine. Now y of four. Put in this formula n equal to four. You will get x of four minus three. That is x of one. That will be equal to two. Why? See the fundamental sequence x of n at what value? At x of one. That at n equal to one. See x of n is two. Right. Now y of five. Y of five is x of five minus three. 
how we are getting this then we are just putting n equal to 5 in this equation and we are getting y of 5 is equal to x of 5 minus 3 that is x of 2 and x of 2 is how much x of 2 is minus 1 right so basically our y of 5 will be minus 1 and y of 6 that is x of 6 minus 3 that will be equal to x of 3 and see x of 3 is nothing but 3 right x of 3 is 3 so our case y of 6 will be 3 now if you again compute y of 7 what will be y of 7 put in this formula n equal to 7 y of 7 will be x of 7 minus 3 uh, that is x of 4 right x of 4 is what see after x n equal to 3 all the xn values are taking 0 and before n equal to minus 3 also all the xn values are taking 0 right so basically if you keep on putting n values that is y of uh, 7 y of 8 y of 9 all will be 0 because x of 4 x of 5 x of 6 so one are 0 similarly why i have started with y of 0 because if you consider y of minus 1 Think about y of minus 1. If you put n equal to minus 1, what will happen? y of minus 1 will be x of minus 1 minus 3. That is x of minus 4. And see, my x of n sequence is from minus 3 to 3. That is x of minus 4 equal to 0. So, if you put for this y of n equal to x of n minus 3, if you put uh, n value less than 0, you will get all the values as 0. Suppose uh, you put n equal to uh, minus 1 then y of minus 1 will be x of minus 1 minus 3 that will be minus 4 x of minus 4 is 0 so y of minus 1 will be 0 y of minus 2 y of minus 2 will be x of minus 2 minus 3 that is, that is x of minus 5 and x of minus 5 is again 0 because x of n is uh, uh, only values from minus 3 to 3 it is defined that means by default we have to assume that uh, rest for rest time sample values x of n is taking 0 right so basically our point of interest is only from y equal to 0 to y equal to 6 for all other values y of n will be 0 because x of n is only defined from minus 3 to 3 so by default for all other values of n x of n will be 0 that's what right so this is the basic fundamental concept of the time shifting now see just draw this way from y of 0 equal to minus 2 y of 1 equal to 0 y of 2 equal to 1 y of 3 equal to minus 3 y of 4 equal to 2 y of 5 equal to minus 1 y of 6, 6 equal to 3 if you plot in the uh, graph then you will get this at y of 0 equal to minus 2 y of uh, 1 equal to 0 y of 2 equal to 1 y of 3 equal to minus 3 see y of 3 equal to minus 3 y of 4 equal to 2 see here y of 4 equal to 2 then y of 5 equal to minus 1 see here y of 5 equal to minus 1 and y of 6 equal to 3 see here y of 6 equal to 3 right basically our this sequence is nothing but y of n now you see carefully this was i will make it little bit smaller uh, so that you can understand what is happening this was my fundamental sequence x of n which was from minus 3 to 3 now same sequence just we have applied this equation y of n equal to x of n minus 3 now when we are plotting see what is happening y of n minus 3 is basically from 0 to 6 and for all other time sample values y of n is taking 0 value right. so basically see when what is this first try to understand see x of n it was from minus 3 to 3 y of n is from 0 to 6 that means this is nothing but right shift okay so basically if we do y of n equal to x x of n minus a where a is some positive value that indicates some right shift of the sequence this is what we are getting as conclusion from this discussion or from this graph we are getting that if we apply y of n equal to x of n minus 3 or in general x of n minus a where a is some positive value the graph will shift to the right hand side of the origin okay so basically see here right shift is happening minus 3 to 3 range is becoming 0 to 6 okay fine i hope up to this you have understood now see what is happening try to understand very clearly so my y of n sequence is this one minus 2 0 1 minus 3 2 minus 1 3 and uh, at n equal to 0 the value is taking minus 2 so just compare you now x of n equal to basically minus 2 0 1 minus 3 2 minus 1 0 and the minus 3 amplitude is for n equal to 0 it was given in the question now when we are applying y of n equal to x of n minus 3 then we are getting this sequence where y of n equal to minus 2 0 1 minus 3 2 minus 1 3 and this minus 2 amplitude is now taking for n equal to 0 that is for time sample equal to 0 and see 
initially for my fundamental signal or fundamental sequence x of n for n equal to 0 the amplitude was minus 3 now the same amplitude is taking place at n equal to 3 because the same amplitude is now situated here and this corresponds to n equal to 0 so this will correspond to n equal to 1 this will correspond to n equal to 2 and this minus 3 will correspond to n equal to 3 right so basically what is happening that x of n for x of n the minus 3 amplitude was coming for n equal to 0 now for this same uh, sequence when we are applying this transformation y of n equal to x of n minus 3 the same amplitude is coming at n equal to 3 so one amplitude initially was coming at n equal to 0 now it is coming at n equal to 3 suppose one train uh, the uh, proper arrival time is at 7 am it is coming at 7 30 or 8 am then what you will say that delay right so train is delayed same thing here so see x of n understand it clearly now n equal to 0 the sequence was minus the amplitude was minus 3 it should the amplitude minus 3 should come at n equal to 0 but due to the transformation y of n equal to x of n minus 3 you are getting the amplitude but when for time sample n equal to 3 that means after some delay so this corresponds to 10 should arrive at n equal to 7 but 10 is arriving at later that is n equal to 3 that is suppose 7 7 30 am or 8 am that means what is happening delay is happening delay this is y of n is delayed compared to x of n that's what i want to make you understand okay so basically time delay is happening because we have made this signal arrive three units left okay see uh, sorry this will not be left this will be late sorry so why this is called time delay because we have made this signal arrive three units late see three units late is happening now the minus two should minus three should come at n equal to zero but minus three is coming at n equal to three that is three unit late okay so this will be late sorry for this mistake so this is called time delay okay so what you are getting as a conclusion y of n is equal to x of n minus a where a is positive right because we have taken the example y of n equal to x of n minus 3 so 3 is a positive fellow similarly for generalize if you generalize y of n is equal to x of n minus a now this is called time delay if a is positive obviously i am again and again i am telling and this is right shift okay because you have seen that this sequence y of n is basically nothing but right shift of the fundamental sequence x of n so basically you should understand it clearly that y of n is equal to x of n minus 3 or in general x of n minus a where a is a positive fellow that is time delay and time delay is equivalent to nothing but right shifting okay so i am just stopping my video here because otherwise it will become bigger so just understand it clearly if you have any doubt up to now please ask in the comment section i will clarify it and with this basic concept in my next video i will show you how to generate the algorithm and how to compute uh, the time shifting that is basically the light shifting or time delay in matlab then in next next video i will discuss about left shifting or time advance in matlab thank you for watching